Huh? I just wanted to see what you Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. You must be fucking small. Do whatever you want, buddy. The world's, the world's your oyster. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> he always does this, why? <laughs> Atmosphere loud. I'm not. He's yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah. Atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. How's everyone doing tonight? Hey, Let's man. Go. Good, man. I got chocolate in my mouth. I'm happy. Oh, shit. I want to put some chocolate in my mouth. Dave, you got chocolate to put in your no, mouth? I already put a bunch of chocolate in my mouth. I can put my chocolate in your mouth if you want. Harvey's. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Vobs Podcast. Vobs, 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 Vobs. The most anabolic podcast in the North. Ooh. Today we have to my left, your amazing, lovely, wonderful host that loves hitting on all you beautiful fans. That's Davey fucking D. Yeah, Send me yeah, on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. I'm keen. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, please. I've changed. It's been two and a half seasons. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> she doesn't watch the podcast. No, not uh, anymore. Yeah, to the left of Davey. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we have your certified Favs controller, DJ D. Vobs, buddies. Yes, I hope everyone's please. doing well. Um, I'm keen to be back. Woo. Feels like we haven't done this in a while for some reason. Exactly what I was saying. You you film once on a Monday and suddenly the whole bitch changes. The whole right? thing changes, yeah. Oh, yeah. but it, I must admit, Thursday's feeling a bit, a bit. Yeah. I lacquer, like it. Lacquer. No, I, I it's lacquer. Like it. Because you go there and then it's, it's Friday. Yeah. It's all vibes. Yeah. yeah. It's good times. I like it. Truth yeah, I like so it. we're changing everything. You guys aren't getting any more episodes. <laughs> this is just for us. We just. So who are you talking now. to then? <laughs> 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 hey future Dave <laughs> <laughs> You look beautiful Don't let anyone tell you otherwise Except mm-hmm. yourself <laughs> Hashtag vibe check on body dysmorphia <laughs> <laughs> Is that <laughs> the way I mean it can be <laughs> I was going to say Dave hasn't done five checks in a month And this is what he comes back with He's hurting <laughs> Oh god And I'm Libs How's it? What's going on Sorry, Did, I never introduced myself. Yeah, wild. Yeah, and you know how intru- important introductions are. What Little I always bit. say is I often don't make good first impressions. And I'm trying to let you... No, David, you don't make lasting first impressions. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> how are you with first impressions when you go out and stuff? How do you feel yes, you are? I feel like I'm all right. Okay, it's going to sound like I'm cutting my own dick right now, but that's not actually a Wait, phrase. excuse me. <laughs> it's going to sound like I'm jerking my dick. <laughs> it's going to sound like I'm blowing my own speaker over here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more people remember me than I th- think oh, will geez. remember me. Imagine how cool it must be. Eh, no, <laughs> it's not like I'm being a dickhead. Like It's like, I genuinely, like, oh, I've met you once. So I try to reintroduce myself and they're like, no, I met you. And then I feel like an asshole because I'm like, okay, oh, good. I, I've been around you when you've done that before mm. where you'll like purposefully reintroduce yourself and then you're like, yo, <laughs> he knows me. I do yeah. some, this one thing I do is like if I've met someone, but I don't know if they know my name, I'll introduce myself to the person next to them. Yeah, first. So, yeah, yeah, and be like, oh, what's up? I'm level and then. You just talk to a person it that comes you... Back. I wish I had like the confidence to think about those things. Whenever I meet people, it's on side from the brain. Like, <laughs> do, 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 I, the amount of times I introduce myself and then it just goes blank. Because I'm like, I, I have to focus on meeting this person. Yeah. They say the name, I'm like, yeah, I, f- I don't know your you name. I didn't forgot. hear it. Yo, didn't that happens to me. Oh. So, dude, you know what? You know what happened to me? Uh, actually, like, I, I can't think of an actual time, but like, it, it happens every time for me as well. Mm. When you introduce yourself. Um, wait, let's, let's pretend we're walking up to one another. Do you want me to do the noises? <laughs> um, hey, hey, oh, hey, um, man. hey, yeah, Dylan, man, nice to oh, meet you. Uh, and, and now, see, you, while I was introducing, I was going, I, contact, he's looking at me. Yeah, okay, I good. Contact. He's looking at me. My name, my, tell, say yes. my name, Dylan. Yeah. Say my, my name's Dylan. Yeah. yeah. What did you say again? <laughs> Missed all of it. Because yeah. I was thinking about everything else. Yeah. And that's what happens every fucking time. You're just thinking about, oh my word, he's standing, he's got nice clothes on. I'm Dylan. What? You, you bro. Yeah. So, and then it's all in the head. You don't fucking think mm. about anything else. My big thing as well in hairdressing as well, I've met a lot of people and I've got clients, especially back then, I had clients like three years and the one client, I did not know her name at all. 
Yeah. Because it's way, way too far gone that yeah. you can't ask yeah. them their name. And then they book under different things. So it was like her mom's name that she booked under. Oh, I see, yeah. And then I just never wanted to be like, oh, hello, Shalissa. <laughs> Shalissa? Oh, <laughs> hello, I thought Shalissa. you would make up a fake name, yeah. Shalissa. It sounds like a fake name. Right? Yeah. It was a fake name. I, don't, I can't remember. Was back you can't even remember her mom's name. <laughs> no. I'm yeah. passing your type. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> 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 Moms. David is exclusively into moms. I don't so I go to gym in the mornings. Did, are they, do, do you want to? If you want to, if you want to catch prime time at gym, everybody just go to gym in between six and eight. Pav's nodding her head because she knows damn well what I mean. That's because Pav's there. <laughs> Pav's oh, like, I'm expecting a bit more. No, <laughs> love you. <laughs> and real uh-huh. everyone at Pot- Val's podcast loves moms yeah send us send us your mom's number okay, okay. <laughs> no, no. Sarah <laughs> I mean Sarah's mom <laughs> she's got it going on how's your week been oh, how was your week Lips? because you were living it up that was a long thing eh? and I the, so the vibe check was actually for you mainly because Ooh, you were living you. it up in Cape Town and mm. they went to a dear friend's wedding so what's your vibe check on weddings Lips? because Ooh. you've been saying some mad shit like I want to get married or I want to settle down <laughs> 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 I must have misheard you you know you know, he said to me yesterday he was like you guys talk about being single a lot on the podcast <laughs> and I was like well, what else is there to know? <laughs> <laughs> We're single. But yeah, David, I won't leave you in the dust. Um, I'll plan to have girlfriends at the exact same time. I just want us to have kids at the same yeah. time. Like, I don't yeah. want to put too much pressure on no, that's cool. I'll <laughs> things hustle. like that. I should be putting pressure on you guys for that shit. What do you mean, dude? You don't know how Davey comes. There's one in the oven. Davey comes strong. Are you going to... But... But Bef- for marriage, no, he's not sex. I mean, like C O M E. Yes. Uh, like when he comes through, he's always. Ah, uh, so you think he's gonna be there soon as well? Yeah, hundred percent. Because he's gonna get married <laughs> to <laughs> Vegas. You know, I was book- like pricing flights to LA. Did I tell you that? No, you told I told me yesterday. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, anyway, one of my favorite artists is performing along with a lot more of like the same genre artists that I dig. And I want to go see it. And it's in September. So. In Las Vegas. LA. Los Angeles. It's in LA. You're my main. My brain. My main win, <laughs> Um, oh where, where in LA? Uh, I don't know. It's SoCo. It's like South Ca- Southern California, I think. It's Groove Continental. Anyway. Who's who's playing there now? Is that the guy's name? Young Bay. Oh. Makoros, 18 Night Tempo. All names that I know, no one who's listening. <laughs> if you know anyone I just named, DM me, please. We'll go to LA. I'll pay for like accommodation, but not your flight. <laughs> How much is the flight? Eight grand. I think Can it was I like come, eight grand. Oh, like fucking I'll write their biography if you're going to pay for accommodation. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah. Hackers. So Dave, Greg, Greggy said that he would. D- Greg entertained it and then immediately shut it down. But that second he entertained it, I was <laughs> he like, was yeah, so yeah, he's in. <laughs> Greg is literally like, I can't take more than 30 days of leave in two years. And Lev's, Lev's immediate reaction, we don't have to go for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I can't even take that many days. Okay. Yeah. My, yeah. Yeah. No, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say my problem with uh, those types of trips, like if you're spending eight grand on a flight, Minimum. like I have to be there for like 30 days. Otherwise, I feel like it's not worth it. But the, the eight jo- grand. But that's sish. I could arrive yeah. sish and go home. I wouldn't be angry. Nah, I'd the be angry, The jet lag would man. murder me. But I would Really? Mind. You feel like you could do that? 100%. I wouldn't be too hacked. I'll just go to LA a different time. When Someone, we all go together, like, family trip. Yeah. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it's actually not that much money. Mm, in, yeah. In, 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 like, the grand scheme of your life, yeah. Yeah. Immediately, yeah, I'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cry. <laughs> Did you pry? How much was it at the moment? I didn't finish it. I didn't finish. I'll get you a full quote by next episode. I can't commit to things, huh? <laughs> Sarah, please. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Fuck her out of Take me back. <laughs> uh, yeah, we- vibe check on weddings. I really enjoyed it, but I feel like it's a very unrealistic expectation for weddings because it was so amazing. Like It was like mm. four mm. days long. 
And I'd been in Cape Town already for two days. So the wedding was out in Cape Town and uh, Boschendal, which is mm. like somewhere in Franschhoek, which is inland. <laughs> Great wine. Great wine. I didn't taste it. We went for a wine tasting. I had, you know, the wine before they had the sugar and fermented. So Really? Yeah. Like fruit juice, but bitter as fuck. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was sweet-ish. I don't know why. Maybe they lied to us and it was just apple ties. Or, but yeah, it was, was good. It? That's quite cool. Yeah, because you had the drink and then you had like, there was like two nougat there. And then you had the nougat, a bite of the nougat and then you sip again and it changes the taste. And then there was two dark chocolates. So you went onto the other drink, the red, and then you'd sip it. And then, but the people who had alcoholic ones, they were four different drinks. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so you actually went there and were like, I need a non-alcoholic wine They had a non-alcoholic table, like one table for non-alcoholic and then a bunch of tables for Oh, okay. Wine. Were there quite a lot of people that were non-alcoholic? Yeah, yeah quite Was a few. It? I was surprised actually, yeah. Like fitness people? No, old people. Oh, uh, hectic. Yeah. I think there was alcoholics. only one other person who was there who was my age <laughs> and she was pregnant, so. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. right. Uh, people was alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. Don't look at me like that. I didn't hear what you said with audio people then. <laughs> Thank God. Um, <laughs> funny enough, though, um, my friend Robin, she also went to a wedding this weekend. And I feel like... <laughs> 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. Funny Go enough, <laughs> you're well, right. That was I funny. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah, Robin. No, no. Went to a wedding. Yeah, she went to a wedding. She's your friend. <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> okay, no, don't. Carry on. Sorry. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Yeah, she went to a wedding. But yeah, it was here in Joburg, it was by the Vol. And I feel like your comparison of this wedding was great and the way she spoke about this wedding, like everything was muddy because it was raining this entire week. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, mud, the mud seeped into the tents. Oh, everything no. was hell. Like, you're like, weddings are great. And she was like, it was hectic. <laughs> yeah, we even got like a nice cabin to stay in. It was freaking beautiful. I don't know. Ship. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, I really... <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, I can't <laughs> say. <laughs> I hope everyone heard that. Um, I would hate to have my wedding on a rainy day unless I was yeah. there for jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like if if it wasn't like <laughs> if I knew it was gonna be my my second or third one. Oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to clip this. Someone clip it. <laughs> Send it to me in 20 years. Yeah, facts, please. And we must, we must schedule it to come out in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like the rainiest day as well. Oh, God. Like, oh my That's gosh. That's going to be magical. Oh, God. Me with my bastard son <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Clip it again. <laughs> Send this to Davy's daughter. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, shit, you, you know in Game of Thrones it. where the bastards would get um, different surnames? Murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Different surname. <laughs> what do you think the four ways surname would be for bastards oh. and four ways? Oh, fuck. And also, you mean bastards as people who <laughs> were born before they get married? Not people who fucking <laughs> suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bastard. <laughs> no, <laughs> not like this asshole. This really used to yeah, mean something. Not like <laughs> assholes. You're the one who wants us to come up with bastard surnames. I think it would be Pretorius. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a heresy. <laughs> oh, I got it. But. Oh, dude, do you know but came up in my brain first? Hey? Really? Eh? Yeah. yeah. I feel like that would be the same. So you guys just yanking each other's assholes or something, eh? <laughs> What's going on in that brain? <laughs> It's dying out, dude. <laughs> he had wine and coffee. I feel like that's a that's a recipe for disaster. What, uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, what are the names that you've decided for your children? Have you ever thought about it? And mm. if you have, what is the son? Um, so am I... What happens if I want a son? <laughs> you don't get to decide, buddy. In China, hey, do they pick four? Oh, That's shit. a very thing. You need a hit point, bro. I want to die. <laughs> um, but I have thought about it. Um, so my middle name is Ru. No way. You're going to do that as question. well? Oh, just smack. <laughs> just Yo. Smack. I, I, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carry on. So my middle name is Ru. 
and then it's passed down the family, the Davidru, because I'm apparently very Afrikaans. Yeah. And I wouldn't I wouldn't name him David because it just get confusing at like family events and everything. So he just gets Rue. Okay, so Rue's, Rue's the one. Victorious. That's so toxic because I literally want to name my kid Theo. So it, and it's weird enough because so in my dad's um, family line, there's about four Timos. Oh, you, must watch, you must watch what happens at family events when <laughs> Timo gets called. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all of those, was, all of them. Yeah. So that I'm gonna break the chain there. I Yo. if I had to follow that logic, my kid's name would be James. Do you like That's James? A sick name. Doesn't one of your family already have a James? No. I feel no. like the James can go either way. Either he's gonna be British and posh, or he's gonna be a dickhead though. <laughs> like you kind of have to think about what you what you want your child to be with the name. Well, sometimes you don't decide. Like it's if like it's a bastard, a it Britney. would be James Butt. James Butt, yeah. Or Rue Butt. Rue Butt. Theo <laughs> Butt. Robot. <laughs> Rue Butt. Yeah, Rue Butt. <laughs> Why are you saying it like an idiot? Rue Butt. Rue Butt. <laughs> Just speak normally, dude. It's Rue Butt. My kid's dumb. <laughs> JK, love you. Sean, I don't fucking know <laughs> what his name is. <laughs> uh, you come up with any baby names? Mr. You guys need to catch up. Yo, buddy, you know, I go through phases with names, but like the one I've always loved is Titan for some reason. I just mm. really fucked with that name. That's a pretty cool and name. And I know some people are like, I named my dog Titan. And I'm like, that's sick, bro, but he ain't my son. <laughs> <laughs> and if he is, who the hell's the mom? <laughs> <laughs> and and if, if you know who the mom is, I still ain't paying child support. <laughs> no, sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, I don't that's like a cool name, but he, but he would have to be on like he would have to be on source. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. from from fifteen, if your kid is fucking huge or like good at yeah. chess, then yeah, Titans or good at chess. Yeah. Are, you, she, uh, are they going to be on clean? Pav is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> for everyone, for, early. for everyone is there. Pav's in the BTS, and she was. But I was not natural if we're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll expose on this podcast. Fake games. I don't even mind. It's all fake games. Oh, once you take it once, your blood's fucked up. Your hormones are different. You ain't a natty. <laughs> you ain't. <laughs> I wasn't. I promise it's all hard work. And just a bit of sauce. <laughs> Can you bleep out that I take? Constantly. Clean, 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 clean. Cleanly, man. Clean, 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 cleanly, clean. Bill's trying to figure out what clean is. It's a. Oh, she's. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ain't bleeping none of that. Oh, God. Anyway, Pav's natural. Don't listen to what we say. Yeah. We still think. That Lebs is natural and he does powerlifting, so. I haven't been in so long, hey. I feel like I'm going to get back there and be so weak. Why haven't you been? Just shit been going on. Uh, yeah, I got that thing that took me out for a week. Then after that, they said I got to take two weeks off. And then this is, the, the I would have been able to start this week. But I have been so tired and so fucked up from the weekend and just nonstop doing shit. Mm. But I'm like, yeah, I can't, hey. I would have gone yesterday, but we had to say goodbye to our lovely, beautiful friend, Ross, who's left us for the ook again. Yeah. If you haven't watched that episode, go back. It was the last episode. Yeah, it, was, it was really a lot of fun. It's not as short as you think. It's 30 <laughs> minutes, but Spotify will handle you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Apple Music or whatever the fuck we're on. <laughs> oh, God. Davey, any more vibe check for the boys? I had it and then something threw me off so now I've just got to wait for it to regurgitate into my brain. <laughs> That'd be louder. Oh shit, vibe check, on, <clears throat> vibe check on your weekend because you had a raggy one. That was actually that was quite exciting in honest years. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy uh, Easter. Mm, happy Easter. Those of you that uh, Don't celebrate. didn't celebrate it like that. <laughs> Pagans. I was just saying people that <laughs> were with their families weren't with their families because you meant to be with your families. I Pagans. wasn't. Pagans. Pagans. Pagan. I don't like saying that word. It scares me. Pagan. Mm. Why? Because all the British draw artists talk about pagans like they're ops. 
<laughs> but this is getting way beyond the point. We're talking about this. No, no. Um, so I had a pretty... It was mainly a Saturday. Saturday was a raucous, a raucous Saturday. Big mess. Because we went to our favorite place. Lockstock, Truth, Jersey Gin. Lockstock and beer. Well, <laughs> so it was... The way it worked out was Ross and I were going to go there. And then Ali and Cam wanted to do something. So we went Ali, Cam... Meg, Ross, and I. That was about it. That was the whole plan. I'm sorry that I'm not so exciting, Lips. It, ble- it was blinking. It's worrying me. But the battery. Is the battery blinking? Yeah. yeah. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's going to deal with that. <laughs> Feet up, son. It ain't my problem. Oh, can I carry on? Okay, <laughs> no joking. You know, but carry on. I'm listening. No, no, I'll stop because we're. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. How's this guy? Racist. I'll fucking murder you. Never touch my feet again, you dumb fuck. I swear <laughs> on my life. I swear on everything that is good. If you touch my foot again, I'll get you back in the dirtiest of ways. And I swear to God, we might not be friends after I do it. Swear. Most of the time I can tell when you're joking, but this time it sounds very real. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm going to grab his feet. Lockstock. Um, so Lockstock. So it was meant to be just be the five of us. I'm not sure if you're going to keep that, but I'll say it again because then you can just... Say cut. it again. Say it again. Where were you? Lockstock and beer. You can't. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I, I see what you're doing. You're trying to, trying to rag me on. Where were you? Me, <laughs> me, Ross, and then Ali, Meg, and Cam. So there's the five of us. We were just there. Ross and I got there at about five. We started watching some of the football. So you know me and football. It was Whole great. city, baby. Yeah, no one played. But it was good. We were watching. And then everyone got there, proceeded to get... Obliterated. <laughs> I, I was gone. I was gone. I literally needed I like I needed. I was on water for about three hours, <laughs> from about ten to around twelve. I was mainly water, but it's okay. But before was, that, oh, I was wave it, wave it. Then so then Ross messaged. Oh no, I think Greg literally messaged Ross, and then him and Stamo came there. So then they were there. Then. Tana and Sky and they came from Saints Fest. So everyone just kind of conglomerated. Ooh. Oh. You dated Hi, I'm Dylan. <laughs> okay, he's shaking my hand. He's making eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Rue, I don't know yeah, why buddy. I thought... Oh. So everyone got like... decked out. And then Ross and I went to ball breakers to go look for someone so in my drunk mind we literally into ball breakers and we were like detectives looking he was like look for a guy with brown hair and like kind of short and we were just greeting people then i met <laughs> some guy who plays csgo professionally yeah i also met a guy at the gun range who is now i know he works at the gun range didn't know that at ball breakers you were gone i was like then some then some guy <clears throat> uh. i'm gonna look in the camera for this one zoom in when you do reels you sure me. Some guy just pissed at the bar. <laughs> at balls? No, lock stock. I wish I, wish I was fucking joking. So Stamo and I were chilling. Stamo was ordering a drink. And then I looked down. Uh, bear in mind, I was obliterated, like I said. And it's just a con... I thought maybe he spilled something. But it was a constant <laughs> stream. He so just what, kept spilling. Yeah, so the bouncer was there. So me being drunk, I was like, Hey, man, he's pissing. <laughs> And then the bouncer, the bouncer looked at me like I was clocked off my head. Like he was annoyed. And he gets there. And his eyes are just like. <laughs> and he just grabs the guy. And then he like throws him out. And he's like, was he really pissing? I was like, I'm sure he was pissing. And then the guy comes like, he's like, I wasn't pissing. I was like, bro, you were pissing. <laughs> on, the, on the bar. <laughs> I think someone got my shoes. That's what made me sad as well. <sighs> Did he have his dick out? I didn't see anything because he was like kind of cornered. He was this like, motherfucker <laughs> probably took someone out who was just spilling his drinks so slowly or some shit. No, no, no. The oh, bouncer, yeah, bouncer yeah. was like, I saw him. But I think so. Me and the bouncers were tight. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, um, the bouncers. Yeah, so when that happened, then 
I nearly got into a fight. What's up, it's your boy, Fighterholic Dave. Because some guy, some guy was at our table. I think he was trying to get with someone that we had met there. But he, he looked rough, eh? Like a rough oaky. What, like a hard oak or like? No, like. Like a bastard. Like does get. Oh, Kind God. of rough. Like, I'm going to call them bastards like miss, now. Missing a tooth kind of thing. Like yeah. from. Sorry if our Kruger's Dorp listeners are listening, but from Kruger's Dorp. But, <laughs> so he went and I was drunk, obliterated, some would say. We... I said it like four times now. But I went and then he was like, he comes up to me and he's like, the bouncers punched me in the face for something. I was like, oh, hectic, man. Because I didn't, I didn't know why he was sitting there. <laughs> he said it like wavered. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hectic, buddy. Um, yeah, dig, buddy. <laughs> and then he was like, <laughs> and he's like, what do you think he like? He was right in doing it. And I was, I said to him, me being drunk, I was like, well, I mean, he wouldn't have punched you for no reason. <laughs> then, he, then every th- his tone changed. He's like, do we have a fucking problem? And I was like, nah, man. And he's like, do we have a fucking problem? So I was just, like, I was like, I'm not gonna deal with this right now. Like. Me, I'm not a fighter. You can come to me in a club. Try you if you punch me in the face, I won't have time to retaliate. <laughs> You'll be thrown <laughs> out. Free ride, punch me in the face. <laughs> because me, I can't stop. What the fuck? My, my thing is it's like if you're gonna punch me in the face, let me take my glasses off. Because uh, that actually costs money. I can imagine David like getting punched, picking up his glasses and just be like, Was that good for was that good for you? <laughs> Do you feel better? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so I went, so he was like, Do you have a fucking problem? I literally was like, bro. I said to him, I was like, I'm not trying to fight you. And I walked away. And then as I walked, he Wild. pushed me like across like a table. It was, it was, so it was hard. Was it like a big like a push? Was it a push or a shove? In honesty, I think with me being drunk, it added a lot to it. Because I, me, I'm, you've seen me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my feet are cross-legged and Lucy I'm Lucy. shifting. <laughs> so he pushed me and then I fell like across the table. And... Alistair, when he watches this, he's going to be so excited because he, he did came. nothing. Anyway, no, 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 he came to my rescue. And he, he, I'm going to hear this for the rest of my life. Yeah, so he'll Alistair, never let it go. Go yeah. fuck yourself. <laughs> but, but he went and he grabbed the guy and the bouncer came within like three seconds and like just threw him out completely. Yeah. Mm. And my thing as well, it's like, I'm not going to fight because then I'm going to get kicked out and I'm going to miss out on the night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How early in the night was it? <laughs> I wish I knew. I think around 11 or so. Ah, yeah. Then so, you can get sent home. <laughs> so he he got shoved out. Then the owners came and they gave our entire table a round of tequila to say sorry. So, oh, that's nice. Which is nice. If you guys yeah. want free alcohol? Get into fights. No, that's not the moral of the story. Um, get fought. Get fought. And do Don't nothing fight about back. it. Yeah. Let him punch you in the face. Take your glasses off. <laughs> then after that, everyone disappeared. Like everyone I'm left. Stressed for you, man. <laughs> Shut up. Your, de- your demeanor towards this is too calm. Like the situation, I I back you for everything that you did because I probably would have done the same. Don't let niggas punch you in the face. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> maybe maybe I'm just prepping people to be like, oh, he's an easy target, and like come out there with fists of fury. Could I, you imagine, I, I won't. Imagine you pissed off. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'll go down. You're gonna take <laughs> me on. I'll probably cry so you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. My thing is, I was thinking about it because the unfortunate thing with toxic masculinity and everything is that you think about it. It's like, should I have punched him in the. Should I have dicked him? Mm. And I was like, I've never punched someone in the face and it would feel, feel weird to like. Mm. <laughs> and you're, you're strong as well and you also don't. I have like slow twitch muscle fibers. Like everything you do is full force. So I feel like the first time you actually punch someone in the face, like I that, think that's going to be hard. Generally, if I did get into a fight, I would apologize as, as I punched them. Like yeah. I'd probably punch me. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what you were going to take me out. Have you, but, have you guys ever had a dream where you. Oh, don't, oh, you don't, don't bring it up. up. Flailing arms. Because yes. you try to punch someone. No like, power, dude. Dude. I think have you guys really had a dream? Yeah. I thought that was only me. You yeah. try to punch someone and it's like your arm just folds in on it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I feel like I would have been good at this. And you're just like, what the fuck? Thanks. I think it's like yeah, a that's dream. Terrible. Being like, hey, don't, don't get into fights. It's like yeah, it's subconscious. Yeah. Unconscious, yeah. unconscious, subconscious. Yeah. And then our other friends. Messi. Take a quick pause. 
can I bring up our friends and how we don't expect them to drink and they do drink and it's wild. Yeah. Great. <laughs> what? You don't, to, you don't have to name them. But... Oh, so our own friend, she, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't drink often. Like it's, it's blue moon territory. Like it's often like a celebration when she does drink. And then she came and I went to her. I was like, hey, you, you're drawing. And then she grabbed an entire bottle of Jaeger and just went like. That's so wild, bro. I can't, like, I can't even like imagine. Like five I shots worth. It, and then she went into other friends. She was like, you drink this. And then was feeding her that. And then to even me. And me, I was already, like I said, water for three hours. I was like, I don't want this. But yeah. I'm not going to say no. Got a problem anyway. Let's talk about that. Oh later. my god! Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it later. Um, got absolutely waved, and then I go to at about I think half past one or so in the morning, and then Yo, you guys stay there for that long? Eh? Oh, right. shit! We were there for a while, and That's then crazy. she looks at me. I'm like, "Hey, you're all right." And then it's I wish I could explain the look, but it was like a child who you know when you when as a child when you go to your parents friends house and you're just hot for mm. you're tired yeah and it's just yeah. like like the look of like do you want to come like please i looked at her i was like hey you're doing your around she's like i'm gonna throw up <laughs> but like it's a weird sense of positivity that came with it like i know it's gonna happen i've accepted it. it i'm okay yeah. so I was like let's get you to a bathroom so it started off as like a, a stroll through lock stocks and we went around the back part and then it became a sprint. Then it was, I was chasing her. I was like, no, no, <laughs> it's not a race. <laughs> I'm slow. And then constant. Oh, big gotch. Yeah. So oh. I was like, shame. So I went, I went to her sister. I was like, please bring the car around for her. Like she needs, like, I don't want her to have to walk that far because it's going to be a shame. Bro. Yeah. Yo. So she brought the car around there and then she, luckily everything worked out quite fine. Like we got her. I unfortunately had to like knock on the girl's bathroom and be like, hello, your sister's at the call. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for my sister. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I haven't sister. seen me sister in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> Why um, is that Irish man in the girl's bathroom? <laughs> exile, man. <laughs> exile. <laughs> what? The... Mind your business. <laughs> um, and then her friend was going home with her. So I went and had to organize an Uber. I felt very bad because I was the mom of the group and I was equally as drunk, but I was still mom. Like I was like, let's get everyone organized. And then, yeah. And then I just helped. No, I didn't actually help. <laughs> I was just dancing. I was actually just dancing towards the end. <laughs> then you said, you know what? I'm a groove. I'm a yeah, fuck this. <laughs> my thing, this is my thing that annoys me so much is, so I was dancing with like my friend from primary school and then a, like a friend that I've just met recently. Okay. And then, so it's three girls and me. And then, Bob, I'm sure you right. felt this, but it's just like guys are everywhere. And it's like we spoke about in the previous episode, like guys are, they're more, v- vultures, more so. Vultures, yeah. 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 It's like, I don't know what you're doing. And then they, like, you can see that obviously, like, now don't stress, like, I'm chilling and it's still there. So I went and had to, I don't know what role I was playing there because I'd just been in a fight. You know, me, I'm a <laughs> big fighter. Big fighter. So I was there, like, don't Dave, stress, like, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy, don't tempt me with free tequila. Yeah, for a buddy. I've been on water for three hours. I'm big. These yet. cheeks are rosy and not from the fists. <laughs> <laughs> when you drink your, your cheeks uh, get out. yeah so yeah that was my Saturday I went and Ubered home got the completely wrong address my Uber was chilled though he had vibes yeah that was me that was, that was lovely thank you, you know, yeah great story I, I've been speaking for a while haven't I no, 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 it was no, an entertaining story. Like, well, guys, thanks for coming to <laughs> <laughs> We know you expected <laughs> more from this podcast, but uh, you know, Davey, once he starts, can't stop. No. Can't stop, won't stop. Pure Butt. David Butt. David Butt's his face. Can we talk about uh, vultures again? Sure, go for it. I hate them. Birds or men? Men. men. Oh, yeah. 
genuinely. I don't. I think. Bro. As well, it's. I think for someone in a relationship, it's. I would say equally as bad, but also just more like personal. Yeah. Because. Bob, I'm sorry. You get hit on a lot. Bruh. And yeah. those, those relatively... <laughs> if you're going to hit on anyone, <laughs> those chilling. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, when you're the truth, uh, like, these guys are talking to Pav, but those are just like... <laughs> I'm like, I understand <laughs> it's like Pav's own woman and she can definitely take care of herself. Yeah. And she does. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I feel bad for you <laughs> constantly. I literally, you know what? Like when it first started happening, when we first started dating, I was I was very much the person where I was like, I I don't naturally get jealous. I don't think. I mean, I've definitely felt jealousy, but I feel like I don't feel that. With Pav in the first few months of dating, when it happened and we were going out and stuff, I was like, Yo, this like I've got I something could, I golden. Could fart, yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, I could fart, bro. No, I was like, yo, I got something golden because fuck. <laughs> no, bro, men I, want I this. can't fight. <laughs> I've been checked out before where I've been hit on. Like Dylan made face pads with that guy in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Like, 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 so this is my thing. I eventually got to the stage. I eventually got to the stage where I was like, you know what? These guys are not going to do anything. And if they do, then there's going to be bullshit, right? Yeah. But I know Pav can tell them to fuck off and like fair enough bro any guy can come to pub and talk like have fun like, guys do what you shoot want. your shot at my girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> do it if you want a new friend <clears throat> come but on. i know that pub will look at me and tell me if there's something like ex- extremely yeah. wrong obviously right but like obviously i can see when pub gets uncomfortable as well so like it's very easy but like fucking guys do what you want bro take your time do it because i know pub's not gonna do shit really right <laughs> yeah, is it like, I know. Like I've got trust. Wait, you know, so me. Me, that's pure confidence. Like when people are hitting Bob and those are just like, <laughs> yeah, just, don't dance like that. It's <laughs> confidence. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, but the, yeah, vultures in general though are terrible. Like I just wanted to say to men, yeah. like at least try hide it, bro. Fuck. Like right. when you are in a fucking club situation, you look around at every single male and you are so fucking obvious, regardless if you're sober or Very drunk. True. The fucking eyes, dude. That's the thing. They're I literally think, like... I think with women as well, it's even more obvious because they are like the lookout for it. So it's like, if it's obvious mm. to like other men, then... Oh, Yo, yeah. Shame. That's a good point, actually. But even if it's obvious to you, when uh, obviously it's not to the same extent, but when a hand's one you, you can always tell. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's true. my thing. It's like a lot of the times they literally someone would come talk to them and they just immediately turn their back and it's like, don't shoot your shot now. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you, don't, don't actually shoot it. Like you can see that it's not worth it. Exactly. And you know what? I'll actually say something, David. Watching you like uh, not not Mac, but like just be super respectful with chicks. I feel like everyone can learn from what David does because David is like extremely respectful. Like he will come up to a girl like, and even if he's interested and she starts talking, he's the most respectful person. Like he Aww. won't overexert himself at all until he sees something that of interest. Then he'll talk to that yeah, person. Yeah, like, like it's, it's a person. Type thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And not even start with flirting. It's like, Hey, uh, like, how are you? Sorry, man. You know, like, would you like a drink? Like it's super chilled yeah, and not like, matching energy. Oh, you fucking hot bitch. Like, <laughs> Other men are just trash. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that side of Dylan, man. He's he like, comes up so fast. Yeah, he goes back in. It's the impression of how he thinks people are. He's like, oh, well, I want to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's just like when he sees people talking to other people, he's just like, like he puts it on a narrative and it's just like, hey, yo, I'm down to have sex. Yeah. Are right you now? TTF, babe? Because I am. <laughs> yeah. That's jokes. But no, legit, but you're right. I've never actually clocked it like that. Like you're a smooth criminal with it. Mm. And you're like humble as well. Like you're laying, but I'm you're humble. To, exactly. Like, I, and I don't works. think I talk to people. So I don't know how you guys see nah. this. Remember that time they no, were you- touching your muscles in the club? He had on that black Zara shirt that I swore I would steal years ago. And then and he took off his hoodie dance. and then... Psh. <laughs> when was that? It was like three, four weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Oh, with the... Yeah. The, okay. Are you guys getting yeah. robbed? <laughs> Your dead ass sounded like it was inside this house. I was like, <laughs> hey, you want to come into the podcast? <laughs> I even heard in my headphones. I thought something like moved or something. Oh. Maybe you guys got a ghost. Bob, check on ghosts, Bob. 
real. Anyway, getting into the view of Bob Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to keep talking no, about no. how David's amazing. No, no, no. You should that can be for after Bob's when I send it to Sarah. Sarah, please. I love how Sarah's such a safe name because we don't know anyone. View of Vibe Chick, first don't. of the night, from <laughs> Cody Finn. He says, EDM at weddings. Yo. Uh, okay, so if I, if I can... I haven't been to a lot of weddings. I don't think I get invited because I would invoke <laughs> that, that thing of, if you have any objections... <laughs> it's it's me. Guy. Yeah, it's me. I would object to every wedding if I could. Hmm. Because it's like, just think about it. Even if it's for a second, don't invite me to your wedding. I'll steal your wife. <laughs> what the fuck? What Let's just carry happened? Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I haven't gone to a I lot I think of... everybody can learn a thing or two from David. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> At least you'll be respectful. Me <laughs> only steal yeah. this podcast, me in real life. <laughs> Does anyone object in this wedding? Um, <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't want to... <laughs> uh, buddy. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it is, everyone's already looking at him he's like yeah <laughs> <laughs> hello sir uh, pa- father pa- pa- padre. <laughs> <laughs> padre yes david padre. <laughs> i'm trying to object <laughs> can i whisper in your ear quickly no, just whisper i just we'll think it's not the group. fair <laughs> I get I said, no, do you mind if i quickly get in no, I, said, I, <laughs> I really think after she gets married i won't have a shot so like <laughs> give me one night, <laughs> one night. <laughs> um so i haven't been to a lot of weddings but i went to my brother's wedding and that was in the eastern cape and the DJ is named there. Bill, if you watch this, I love you. His his name was DJ Sparkles. You are. And he, he was an old man. He was an old guy. <laughs> he had been through a lot. So much so that even when, like, me and my brother. Vietnam. Me and, me and Ray closed the wedding. Like, we were the last two there kind of thing. And DJ Sparkles was like, can you take, can you help me take my speakers to the car? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, DJ Sparkles, oh, they God. paid you a fee. <laughs> this is not on the fee. Oh, God. So, EDM at weddings. <laughs> Did he play EDM? Oh, God, no. Oh. He played every single wedding tune that you know. Name them? Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, you know, that home song? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it has to be there. Yeah. yeah. Sweet that Caroline. Was, yeah. Yeah, the wedding ones. Um, um, very, very. I got a feeling. No, I don't think he was that into you, uh, buddy. It was like, that was that's a new age one. I've mm, I've realized. Mm. You go to a lot of weddings, but we'll get back Correct. to it now. No, eating my weddings, I like it because mm. the wedding's meant to be. It's all it's all good and well when the vows are done, and then it then it's it's sesh. Yeah, it's mm. doof, 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 doof. big yeah. group. Yeah, that should be a group. It should be a celebrate. Everyone should get. I thought you were going to say married. <laughs> I I just want to do more weddings. I just want to get a suit. Yeah, man. I've got a suit. I'm waiting. <laughs> if I meet to your wedding, what's going on please. in the sky today? So dude. dodgy, man. <laughs> He's the most dodgy in the middle. You <laughs> seem <laughs> scaly, but your legs, so I feel like people forgive you. <laughs> uh, do EDM at weddings? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been to a lot of weddings in my life. I've got a huge family, Catholic bunnies, they mate. Catholic bunnies. Anyways, um, being to all of them, I've I've noticed the wedding music has evolved over time. Mm. And it started with Sweet Caroline and like all the oldies, that type of music, like Journey, mm. Don't Stop Believing. Ooh. Yeah. That's a wedding track. And now they play those bangers like, I think I want to marry you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, and then it evolved and then it started getting into like this weird club music stage where it was like, I got a feeling like that type yeah. of dance music, like Calvin Harris, that type yeah. of thing. EDM, one wedding I've been to played only EDM and no, no, none of the other tunes. So the whole time it was a fucking jaw. That's magic. It was so shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thinking about now is it's like 
Imagine like you're listening to like DVBBS or something like solid <laughs> like, put your fucking hands up. <laughs> and and that's what it was like, but yeah. no one was on the floor because yeah. because most of the people there are just like old people, yeah. like uncles, aunties, and then there's like a few young people that are the friends and stuff. But then yo, it was just shit. Eh? I can respect Dude. that at the end of the night because that's where yeah, like, that's where start of the night. It's where all the old, old people. Be. Yeah. What did you always have EDM now this weekend? So, the reason he asks is because he was banned. Yeah. <laughs> so for this wedding, we were asked to like give a song request that we wanted to hear. Everyone, yeah, yeah every guest was oh, asked to like give one song that the DJ was playing. That's cool. Yeah. I like that concept. So Cody v Cody decided that his song would oh. be Dimitri Vegas and like Mike Mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. but it got vetoed so then he asked like Robin and Nestor like oh, oh, oh god like why is my tune getting beat and then they were like no it wasn't us who vetoed it it was the DJ Yo. and then the, he was like what do you mean the DJ is like no the DJ just said he wasn't gonna play it but then there was like a there was like a sliver of hope because apparently the DJ that vetoed it wasn't the DJ at the wedding I don't know if this is true or not because I high key think my boy got played out <laughs> and they were just like you know what we'll blame the DJ <laughs> but I respect that but then he decides he's like I'm gonna go talk to the DJ <laughs> <laughs> and it's Cody get the as true well. story like, how's it brother bro <laughs> and at that point he was wizards of a wave when he <laughs> plays bro my man was always a rocket I was like hey man I just wanted to ask uh, cause play to meet you because I'm like Mark like Jim Mammoth and then he, the DJ was like no I don't have it downloaded and then Cody beating Cody he's like but surely like you have internet you can, <laughs> you can download you, it bro and then he's like uh, okay fine no then they argue for a while then he's like okay fine I'll download it. Then he goes and he's like, you see, there's an exclamation mark next to it, so I can't download it. And Cody's like, what bullshit is that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> then we, we don't hear any of this. We just see him go and he speaks to the DJ for long. It got heated and then he came back and then I'm like, oh, how did it go? Because I thought it went well. And he was like, yeah, the DJ's just a fucking prick. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, please. <laughs> so oh, he, he got vexed. And there was no mammoth at the wedding, oh my which word, was man. fucking, it was heartbreaking for him because oh. that's all he wanted all weekend was to just listen to that tune. I played it for him on the Uber back. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> the same. Uh, but I think, I don't know what it, I hope my wife's the same, but I actually want my wedding to be like the best party you've ever been to. Yeah. It's like, you Ooh. need to like go there and like, obviously we have like our vows and things like that, but then it's like, I might hop on the decks and start yeah. spinning mad shit and everyone has to be on the dance floor and it's just like I want to celebrate my wife but I also like if you have everybody that you love in the same place at the same time wouldn't you want to make it like yeah, exactly, one of the man. best times ever yeah also I I'm agree. like low competitive as well with that it's like imagine like all your friends weddings and then imagine yours is a shit wedding <laughs> oh I'd be mad <laughs> You know, yeah, I want you guys to talk about the wedding for like years. Yeah, facts. You, you know, I, I've actually. Kids. What's funny yeah. is I've actually seen this in my family. Is like people talk about weddings and like who's is the best, oh, and they really? start to rank them. And I feel like it's subconscious. Like they're not actually going, yeah, that was a shit wedding. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but they go like. They're like, yo, oh, I wasn't like, sin. you know, like hmm. the fillet was just like not like yeah. they could have served something else. Oh, I like the and champagne. I was like, oh, oh, I'm getting waterfall. like fist yeah. nice for the wedding. Yeah, it's just yeah. like that's what we're gonna be like in a few years. Fried chicken burgers. Fried like chicken. Fried. Southern fried chicken. Oh, like, fried. The, like Jacksonville burger. Is that what you have? For uh, what you would have? I don't like this because he's been to a wedding. So he's very judgy. The no, I just part, feel like it would cost a fuck load. The sickest part of the wedding for me weddings, was man. the groom got a fucking saber, bro. And then he took Did the he saber the champagne? He sabered the champagne. Oh, that's dope. Poured it into the champagne tower. Starts drizzling. That's I was like, sick. this is the sickest shit I've ever seen. That's like, cool. I did ask need to do that at my wedding, but I need to do it like a Warhammer. Like, I don't know, because you can't <laughs> repeat it. <laughs> I'm just going to be there. And I'm going to smash like a milkshake. I don't know. <laughs> smash milkshake. Because yeah, it's not like a drinking champagne. You need to pressurize it. It's a bit of liabilities there. The only liability at my wedding is going to be you. <laughs> <gasps> Bro, uh. sorry, my brain. I watched a video the other day. It was uh, horrifying. Someone sent me a WhatsApp <laughs> of a wedding cake and the fucking, the, the fucking groom took an, the knife to go cut the cake and it was a fuck off massive cake. Yeah. Bro, he starts cutting into the cake and no one's watching him. 
So the the guy's busy videoing the bride with uh, her family and stuff, and he's in the corner, and he's he looks completely fucked up, like alcohol, and he takes a knife and he literally starts cutting into the fucking cake and doing this, I guess. Yeah. And then someone literally pops out out of the top and is like, you fucking stabbed me. And so it's not a joke. Like it's an actual, and the, the video guy like starts like shaking the camera and everyone's like, oh, no, you're not supposed to fucking use the knife, you idiot. And it's like, it's not a real cake. <laughs> yeah, don't do weddings like that. Bro, no, it was so it. horrifying. Why would you dude. hide in the cake at a wedding? And he was, <laughs> it might've been a joke. This guy's <laughs> Just now that I'm talking back, I'm like, that was that was a Chris Rock situation. That was fake. Being like the best man in like the life. Like, <laughs> 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 it's like a Tom and Jerry skit. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, hasn't that actually happened in the cartoon? No, has it? Has it? I mean, the knife like it goes. And like you're a like wall. dodging. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, was it little like a Houdini or something? And they yeah. were trying to like, do the knives up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it shows the body afterwards. <laughs> imagine, imagine you go to a shop and they get in the box and the lady shoves the knife and you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big dick. <laughs> <laughs> she, tries, she tries to do the second knife and he's like, hold on for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you get in the one side of the box contort and then there's somebody in the other side yeah. of the box no i swear they get out the back bro so it's like two people oh wait are you talking about the saw thing or yeah, the yeah, knife yeah. thing the knife no the saw thing so the saw thing so my sister did a whole bunch of the shit in so actually i know how the <laughs> knife thing works oh. yes no, <laughs> lying. You, should, you know what you're in the barnyard Oh yeah. yeah. So at the barnyard, she did a, a black magician. It was called Rock Circus. I just think just before we do this, we may get murdered if we reveal a bunch of secrets. But I'm down. Bro, but how many magicians do you know? Now nah, you see me. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. You don't know them. Now nah, you don't. <laughs> they do it in secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had just speaking shit. <laughs> get in, in the box. box. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna show you what we do. Right, just, just bend your body. Bend your body. Don't step on the back. Step on the back. Ah, dude, you're meant to step on the back. I'm joking. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> but also, the saying is a magician never reveals his secrets. I never seen Dill do magic. Exactly. Oh, but also, they they left the plot of the magician's assistant. Reveals all the secrets. Yeah, she's just like a... She's just a blabbermouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they really don't oh choose them well. Oh my God, I just got off the box like it was nothing. Like, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mirror. It looks like I'm floating. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister was in yeah. so so the one so the one where there's a there's a box right so a long tall box she it. gets into it and then they separate the box into two different things that one's so fucking simple there's literally like if you I feel like I need to stand for this but if you feel if you imagine her getting into a box like this yeah. standing up completely straight she literally puts her her foot on one thing and then she just tucks her knees in like this oh, and hexic. then they have boots so she slips in boots. I don't know where she gets the boots from. I can't remember. But Probably she puts in boots box. into the bottom of it. The Ooh, same boots that she's wearing. And then when he takes it apart, she's just obviously still. So they reveal oh, her head hectic. and stuff and reveal the body. And then they reveal the feet and her feet are in the one that's separate. But it's like, it's like that's so simple. Yeah, of course like, they're doing that. Why wouldn't you think of that? It's so stupid. And then the knife thing was something sim similar. So like, it's that thing of there's a tiny space like that, that the person goes into. The box is really long. Yeah. And then she literally goes into the back of it. She puts a board up and then that's it. You just take the back board, put it in front of you, and then... Wait, what do you mean? So that it stabs the board? No, it's the disappearing one. Oh, yeah, that's the disappearing one. Sorry. It's just so simple. It's so simple, guys. No one literally be like, this is the knife one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, Sarah, you know what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to pull a card. She's kidding, she's kidding. What one number are you thinking of? Um, 15. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine in the car ride home, everyone's just super quiet until halfway. Like, we watched a murder, right? <laughs> I don't think you're going to say the magician in his car with like Sarah's like three knife wounds. It's like, wrong fucking trick! <laughs> <laughs> it's the magician 
it's quiet. And Sarah's just staring at him. He's like, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. Like, Hello, oh, show. <laughs> Even even in the other car, I was like, I thought I thought he was just a really good magician. No, he was really bad, right? Like he murdered that lady. <laughs> oh god, should we have done something? Should we have gone up there? No, I would have ruined the, the, the fucking vibe. Oh goodness! Oh, Don't trust magic. magic, kids. And this is from Jesse Eisenberg, and he's making Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> was it Jesse Eisenberg? Yes, it yeah. was. Uh, and if Doomsday doesn't come out and kill Superman, you've done something wrong. <laughs> Is that also Jesse Eisenberg? Wow. Yeah. He gets work, okay? Shit. Double tap, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Jesse he's Eisenberg. A yeah, he gets work, okay? I mean, he's not a bad actor. He just seems like a dilker. He apparently is a dick. Yeah, he's, it, and honestly, when he did the social network, I wasn't like I still think of him as Mark Zuckerberg because they both seem like assholes. Also, and Mark, if you're listening, <laughs> unblock me. <laughs> <laughs> unblock me. I know it was spam, but she needs to know I didn't <laughs> cheat. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god. It's crazy to think that out of the two of them, oh shit. That's fine, it's an hour three, so we can, we can call it, what are we calling it, Lebs? What's, what's the time? How long have we been here for? An hour three, hour four now. Okay, well, should we close again? <sighs> yeah. So anyways, my vibe check on weddings is really good. I love them. Oh, that's where we were. Yeah, I was about to start talking about <laughs> Army Hammer as a legit cannibal. Anyway, ladies Army and gentlemen, Hammer. thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fobs oh. Podcast. Bob's I would Bob's let Bob's Bob's Army Bob's. Hammer rattle me. Thank you guys for coming. <laughs> I hope you've had a fantastic Thursday. Because I just did. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. If you wanted to eat a toe, I'd let him. Make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms. Even the ones that no one watches. His dick's got to be huge. But yeah, YouTube's a good one. Um, Amazon Music is another one. Apple Podcasts for your usuals. If Spotify. Army Hammer had a streaming service, I would let him cut me up. When and Army Hammer ate it three of my toes, there. I just blurted out episode 16 through my voice and recited everything. That's so crazy. When Army Hammer gave me his Army Hammer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> It was nice. When I Not hammered like armies. <laughs> hammer. <laughs> when I hammered army, hammers armor. When I armies. <laughs> Thank but you guys for tuning in. Give me oh my arm. god, everything's turning oh, off. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we were so dumb. We love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Get we're cutting it right now. Is that camera fine? Fuck the cuts for. Yo, I did a backflip. Is it this get camera? In, get, get, in. get in, David, get in. We're just saying bye. <laughs> oh, God. It's all for shit. Oh, who knows? Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Vibes Podcast. We love you. We'll see you next week. They print money. Don't forget that. And as always, Fuck do your it. Fuck life. Vibing. Eat vibes. Do, do it for the, the vibe keep vibing. Atmosphere. This is what we do here. Dylan Dooley's podcast. Eat army hammer. Out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>